Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is a review and unboxing first impression um, of the fountain pen that I pick up from Staples. So this is the, the Cross um, Aventura fountain pen in um, Stary Blue. Okay, So I got this one for $15 and this is basically on sale $5 off uh, the actual price is about $20 it's actually I think $19.99 so about $20 so let's just see how this performs um, this is basically an entry level pen and um, kind of on the lower end of the spectrum and I have not tried this one before, so I think it would be a good opportunity to see how this works and, you know, see how this thing actually writes. Okay, so this is how it looks like. If you, um, It comes in this uh, plastic box. So you have the... Um, Print out, it's basically saying information about the pen, uh, probably some instruction as well as to how to fill it up. Okay, and it comes with a propriety ink cartridge. So I think this pen you can also use a converter for this pen, but that one you have to buy separately. Okay. So this is in starry blue, which is basically kind of like a navy blue. Let's see. Um, well, looking at just you know how it looks like it, it looks stylish and it looks um pretty classy, but then again, um, the real test of the quality of this pen is how it writes and sometimes there is something about touching it that makes you feel if this is like a solid pen so the, this alone um it doesn't have much weight to it it looks like this um front end over here on this side is a little heavier than uh the this other end um i don't really know why but the cap itself feels heavier than the pen and i don't have a weighing scale so i really cannot show that to you guys but um it's basically made up of plastic barrel so let's try to unscrew this and see how it looks like um yeah this is just made of like cheap plastic and um i am a little bit afraid that this might crack over time just because of how cheap it feels um now let's examine the pen so this is how the pen looks like um you have this cross um engraving here um on the clip and I don't know if it, it actually feels like it's metal. Okay, so it has that beautiful silver chrome-like finish. And um, it has this uh, here on this side. You also have another engraving that says cross. And the cap itself looks a little weird. Um, just because on the side view, it's a little bit slanted. And then... It, it kind of like here at the other end it's also slanted and I don't really know the purpose of that one other than maybe aesthetics but I don't know I, I I really can't complain about the design of this but let's just see so um this is the box that it comes with and it just says here fountain pen and I don't see anywhere um the size of the name for some reason i don't know 
so i am basically just judging it from the price tag i am just making an inference here it says 2 ms so i am guessing maybe this is a medium pen but i don't know so cross is basically a, a pen company that has been established in 1846 there it there it says 1846 and if you look here it says made in china so i'm guessing that they're designing this pen in the u.s but they are outsourcing their manufacturing so let's see how this pen works um this is basically a snap-on kind of like cap a little bit i don't really feel the it snapping because sometimes you know um to know whether the pen is actually secure you have to just to actually hear that snap there but this one does not i don't know um let's see it posts a little bit but it's not really that secure but let's just um try it out okay so this is the ink cartridge and this is how um, the nib looks like I don't know but it looks a little bit different so you have the the logo one there and I look online on um, how other nibs look like this looks like a different design and it seems like it's made up of a plastic feed so we'll see and then this section right here is a little bit smooth and i don't know if this is metal or just a plastic that is made to look metal but yeah i don't know if this would be a problem for other people because you know like holding the pen and make and you know if it's slippery or it doesn't help with the grip or something i don't know but we'll try this out so um this is basically made up of just, you know, steel nib. But we'll see how this performs. Okay, so how do I do this? It looks like I just need to push. Let me see what, what it says here in the instruction. Alrighty. Um, okay, so... Is it? So this is about the converter. If you have a converter, basically a twist. But what about how to insert the cartridge here? I don't really know. We'll see. Oh, there you go. So that section over here tells you like how to insert the cartridge. Okay. So let's try this. So basically, all I need to do is basically just to push this one. Okay, so I heard that snap. So it should be good. We'll see. And then we'll also do some writing sample. So like I said, um, I mean, I won't have any trouble writing with this pen. Um, it just feels a little weird because it seems lighter on this side just because this one is made of plastic and maybe a little bit heavier on this side i don't know if this is actually metal or not but if you post the cap um it gives the pen a little balance so let's just do a writing sample maybe i would shake it a little bit and see Okay. Okay, I don't see anything coming. Maybe it will take a little bit for it to write. Okay, let's try it again one more time. Okay, so it really has a hard time starting. Come on. Okay, 
I don't see anything coming out of this one. it a little bit more um, give it a little shake okay I don't know what's going on guys this is really having a hard time starting I don't know what's going on hmm. let's try it again Give it a little bit, a little shake. Let's see. I don't know. Nothing's coming out of this. It's not writing at all. Okay, guys i'm back um at first i really really had a hard time starting this fountain pen but i did get it started i did rest it on the table for a little bit for giving the opportunity for the ink to actually come down to the feed so now i'm gonna show you how this pen writes so i still like to post uh the cap i'm gonna do some uh vertical lines here although it does not say specifically on the package um what the size of the nib is judging from the lines that i can create this is definitely a medium nib okay so let's try to write a little bit faster all right so the nib itself feels really smooth and here you can see that the feed does not have trouble keeping up. So I don't see the pen skipping at all. Um, let's see the ink. Oh, so the ink looks pretty dry. It, it looks like a dry ink. Uh, maybe that's why um, it had a hard time starting at first, but I don't know that. Um, it could also be because the pen is new, so that's normal. So let's do some writing sample here. So this is 80 um, cross. And the model of the pen itself is Aventura. Okay, right. Okay, so it really does feel smooth. Okay, so this is in starry blue. Yeah, I really cannot complain, guys. It writes really smooth. And I don't know in the near future if this is going to skip. But for now, I would say that I am happy with the way the pen writes. So other than this, having a hard time starting, but that's really expected for a new pen. Uh, let's do some more writing here. So let me try the, the quick brown fox. I don't have problem with this it's it's really smooth it writes well it does not skip so let's see if you can actually write in reverse let's try that well you can actually write in reverse and uh, yeah 
I think the d difference is that if you do this, the nib feels a little bit scratchy and you produce a much thinner line by it. But why would you want to write the reverse? Okay. So overall, I would say that this is a good um, entry level fountain pen. Now let's uh, talk about some of the pros and cons of this pen. So some of the pros, um, this is a good starting fountain pen. The price point is good as well. For $15, um, you have a nice writing experience. Um, what else? Um, the pen itself looks really nice judging from the appearance alone. It looks nice. It looks classy until you touch it. Because to me, there is something about touching the pen with your hand. Um, this pen really feels uh, not balanced in my hand for some reason. Um, it's because the, the front end of the pen is heavier than the back end. And I really don't like that. I really don't like how that feels. So for, for it to uh, feel more balanced in your hand, you actually have to post the cap. But that's also a problem in my opinion because the cap does not stay secure securely posted so that can be a deal uh break breaker for some people um what are the other cons i do not like the fact that this does not come with a converter because um you know other fountain pens that are cheaper comes with a converter like the jean hao pen comes with a converter and this one does not so likely you're gonna stop uh you're going to be stuck using a cartridge and I don't really like using, you know, the cartridge just because I like um, trying out different bottled inks. And so those are some of the pros and the cons that I could think of about the pen. So overall, if you don't mind the weight of this pen and if you judge by the smoothness of the writing, then this pen might be for you. So it's a nice starting, uh, you know, fountain pen. Uh, I mean, an, I mean, entry level fountain pen. Um, so let me know what you guys think. You are free to drop your comments down below. And I'll see you guys again next time in my other videos. Bye.